welcome to thank youtube it's friday t y i f yes so this is a new collaboration that um some of the australian vlogging mums have come up with it's a weekly thing on a friday um it started last week rebecca shepherd hosted that week um, last week i couldn't get involved because i had only just gotten back from europe um, but she hosted the Australian Mum Tag, so I'll leave her channel and the playlist that she did down below. You can see everybody's videos. This week is hosted by Megan from Mimi's Quest, and we're going to be doing 10 of our favourite mum hacks. So I will also link down below the playlist so you can watch everybody else who's done their mum hack videos for this week. Um, and also if you want to check out their channels, subscribe and all the rest of it. If you don't know, my name's Rochelle Glendon and I am um, a YouTube mum. I'm just recent I've just recently returned from Europe and I'm getting back into making videos at least weekly. But so here we go. My first mum hack is when you have drink bottles um, that come with straws, like kind of like this one here. If for whatever reason and the drink bottle is getting old, like this one, um, the mouthpiece is a bit scungy and Lewis has bitten some bits out of it. Um, so it's time to throw this drink bottle away. Um, so I've just thrown the whole drink bottle away, but I've saved the straw and cut it in half. Um, and then that way, the little half size straws are perfect for kids um, like smoothies and drinks in um, cups if they want to drink out of a straw. So that's one little extra way to save the environment. Um, so then my next tip is I got these silicon sandwich bags um, they're clear on one side and I took them this is more of a travel mum hack I took this one overseas with us I used it as our 100 mil carry-on fluids bag and as you can see here everything is just nice and visible um, I, and then when we landed I used that as like a snack bag so it's kind of like a reusable thing um, while we were overseas I was able to just put crackers or chips or biscuits or sultanas or whatever I had on hand um, while we were away um, and this way saves you a little bit of money as well because you can buy a few things from a local supermarket um, and you've always got those mum snacks in your bag even when you're overseas <laughs> because kids get hungry all the time so my next hack is these bubble holders. I don't know about you guys, they're really cheap, a dollar or something from Kmart, but they spill so easily, like if you give them to your kid. So what I do is I sticky tape it or electrical tape it to a chair or to the stairs or to any kind of like thing that's nearby that's not gonna fall over so that when they're doing their bubbles they can just hold the wand and they're not like accidentally leaning over and completely just tipping the bubbles out. My next hack is to get one of these plastic wipe containers. These, This one was a Whatnot Wipes one and I refill it from my main wipes packet in the in the baby's room and that just keeps them really, because it's a plastic and it's got a seal, um, it just keeps them nice and like moist like they're meant to be so my next hack is i have we don't have a washing line it got knocked over in a storm a tree fell down so um i have this indoor clothes horse it's got three levels on it and it's on wheels and it's so awesome i hang out all the clothes we have a nice sunny spot on our back deck and the bottom level has lewis's clothes the next level has max's and then my stuff and Rolly's stuff is on the top, usually just like socks and undies and bras and stuff. It's really convenient because then I can just wheel it inside and into each bedroom and put the things away directly into the drawer that they go in or directly into the cupboard that they go in. It makes it so easy. I never have any um, washing laying around to be put away because I just put it away straight from the rack. My next tip or my next hack is when your kids are a little bit wired, this is a little bit of a wee 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 one I guess, I put um, essential oil into the bath and diffuse it that way. So for example, like if Max has had a hectic day, he's had like some cake or something at daycare, one of the good ways that I get him to wind down is I put a little bit of lavender essential oil in the bath, in the water, and that helps him to just like I don't know chill out or any other kind of chill out essential oil scent the other one that i have is the console scent from doTERRA it's got lavender and other things and it's basically like a lavender on steroids and it's really nice i can feel that it really helps and the other thing that i do is if he's going through a phase of not wanting to hop in the bath um, i get little kids bath bombs and say he can have a bath bomb in the bath and that makes him hop straight in the bath <laughs> 
Um, another hack to it that involves a bath is I get the kids to brush their teeth in the bath. And I think that this has really helped Lewis learn how to brush his teeth so much earlier than Max. Lewis is only 13 months old and he brushes his teeth basically on his own. He's only got like eight teeth, so it's not a problem, but you know, it doesn't really matter. He's not doing the back ones or anything. Another hack that I have, um, it saves a little bit of energy and time, is I have a kettle um, that goes on the stove. It's got a really wide base. And what I do is I only fill it up with enough water for one or two cups of water um, and then boil it rather than filling it all the way and then boiling all of that water every single time I make a cup of tea, which might be like five times a day. Um, so I just fill it up with enough water and then that way it boils quicker and I'm not using as much energy heating and reheating the same lot of water that I'm not making, you know, that's left in there. It's just one of those ones for those environmentally friendly mums out there. My final hack is for those mums who are a little bit uh, worried about how much they use their phones in front of their kids. So I am really conscious of that. Ever since they put that feature on, the screen time feature on my iPhone, like on the iPhone in the settings, you can find out how much time you spend on your phone. Um, so one, my hack is that when I'm feeling guilty for being on my phone, I, I, I tell my kids why I'm on my phone. So say if I'm messaging my sister to organize a catch up or something, I will say, I'm just organizing to see Arnie Josie tomorrow. Um, why don't you, you know, just that's why I'm on my phone. It's not that I'm like ignoring you, I'm actually doing something or I've just got to pay a bill or I'm just organizing something. Um, and then that way they understand that the phone isn't always more important than them. If you're on your phone a lot, especially I work from home um, so sometimes I'm on my phone writing back to emails and things where Max will be like stop playing on your phone mummy I'm like I'm actually doing some work I'm not ignoring you I will be with you in a minute and I find that that's a really good way to just explain because we do so much on our phones I think that's a really nice way to explain um, to them that the phone is not just this thing that you're staring at and you're actually using it to do certain things and what the phone is actually for. So anyway, that's just another little tech hack, I guess. So that is all of my hacks. I hope you got at least one or two little tips out of that. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite hack is. And don't forget to go over and watch the other videos in this collaboration. There are some cool mums there with some really awesome hacks. I'm sure you're gonna get some good tips out of it out of them. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!